Hi, this is Joost and welcome to Analyzing Tech. Today we're going to talk about vehicle to load on the ID bus cars and other ID cars from the Volkswagen series. Uh, it might also apply to some other Volkswagen group cars, but uh, let's just focus on the Volkswagen cars first. I know some of you will be quite skeptical on this video and think it's all clickbait, so uh, I'll start out with some pictures of the actual product and uh, see it's not just uh, some theoretical nonsense that I'm going to discuss here. So as you can see, there's uh, an actual device connected to the plug of the electric car, all Volkswagen cars as you can see. And this is a real product that can output up to 5 kilowatts of uh, peak power, uh, 230 volts, uh, probably also a 110 version. Uh, and uh, yeah, a nice vehicle to load solution uh, that is out there. Here is some uh, video evidence of such a device being used uh, with the ID4. You can see it's uh, powering some really high uh, loads. So uh, electric radiator, electric heater, a blow dryer. Uh, these are like the most power intensive device you can imagine. Uh, you can see the device is uh, taking power from the port from ID4, uh, converting it to 240 volts and then uh, powering these devices. I can imagine that uh, quite some people are now scrambling to find the links to purchase such a device and, uh, or to see uh, what's the caveat to use such a device. Unfortunately, uh, the caveat is usually the charging port that's used for such devices and they are not out there in all markets that are available. Such devices mainly support the GBT T port, which uh, cannot be found in uh, some of the countries. Here you can see a map of uh, the countries where the different charging stands are supported. And uh, yeah, you can see uh, that uh, the red part is uh, not covered by probably most of the audience of this video. I'm really hoping that uh, they will also release a similar device for CCS1 and uh, CCS2 ports, so we can also use these kind of devices in the US and in Europe. But it appears that uh, the current standards are really holding this back uh, at the moment. So if you have one of these devices with a GBT T port, I would definitely recommend looking into these kind of solutions. But it doesn't mean that we don't have a solution for the, the CCS port devices out there. Uh, they're just a bit more commercial and complex. Uh, I'll show them a bit uh, in the coming parts. So if you do have a Volkswagen ID car with sufficiently new firmware, there should be this option uh, bi-directional charging in there, uh, which you can enable. Uh, might not be in all your cars yet, but uh, yeah, definitely should be coming. What you might also see from these uh, images is that there are some limitation with uh, what you can do with bi-directional charging uh, from the Volkswagen solution, which is that it's limited to 10,000 kilowatt hours which I think is a bit unfortunate. And I also don't think there's a way to, to upgrade or to pay to get more access, which uh, I hope will be uh, resolved in the future. And besides the limitation of uh, 10,000 kilowatt hours, there's uh, currently only one solution that's uh, available for purchase, which is also using an internal battery inside the house, which uh, as a use case is quite interesting. So that means you always have backup power. You can always provide power you can just uh, recharge this battery from your car to have uh, like a huge battery bank. Uh, of course, the disadvantage of this is that it's a way more expensive solution, uh, which might not be everyone and uh, might be breaking for uh, quite some use cases to make it uh, worth the, uh, the, the cost price of the solution. If you do like these kind of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any follow-up questions, uh, please let me know. I'll be happy to research. See you.